Hi everyone! This is a video tutorial for introducing the basics of the Unity Editor interface. First, sorry for my English, it is not my native language. To follow this video step by step, you may download the project from the video comments in YouTube or from our Moodle space. In that case, when you download the file name unityinterface.zip and zip it somewhere in your computer. It is better to have Unity projects on a hard disk, not in a pen drive or in a network disk unit. This is because the Unity editor does intensive file access and creates many temporary files, so a file file access is preferable. Tell Unity then to open a project and navigate to the folder where you expanded the zip file. To get the same layout I show here, go to the top left corner of the editor and choose 2 by 3. In this window, the project window, I prefer to use two columns and see the contents as a list. For this purpose, move this slider to the right. We will now see some of the most important windows of a Unity editor. This is the scene window, in which we can see and edit the objects in our game scene. A game Unity consists of a number of scenes, generally holding levels of the game. Each scene, in turn, consists of a number of game objects. You can select any object in the scene window by clicking on it with the left mouse button. As you can see, when I select an object in this window, the name of the object is also highlighted in this other window, the hierarchy window. The same happens the other way around. When you select the name of an object in the hierarchy window, it is also selected in the scene window. The hierarchy window represents the game scene in text form like a tree. This tree shows parent-child relationships among game objects. You can collapse or expand the children of a game object by clicking these small triangles. These relationships help to organize the scene establishing dependencies among objects. The start object is the parent of the whole set of objects of this first part of the game scenario. A parent-child relationship is also needed for moving objects. For example, if a game object represents a character and the character is carrying another game object, then the character game should be the parent of the other object. We will see more on this when we address the scene window in more depth. This other window, the game window, shows what you will see on the game screen while the game is running. You need the camera to see something here. There is usually a game object called main camera. If I select it, you can see a preview of what it sees here in the scene window. The project window shows the directory structure of the assets of the game. The assets are the elements, the resources, that give content to the game. 3D models, textures, animations, audio clips, scripts, and many other types. Some are files imported from a 3D modeling program like Blender, the one I use. Some others are created inside Unity. This directory structure is the same you have in your file system inside the project folder just under the directory name Assets. Do not change files or directories of the Unity project on the file manager of your computer. You may add some files, but Unity should not have that project open at the same moment. When Unity opens it, it will import all those files. On this side of the project window, you have the directories or folders. On the other side, the contents 
of the selected folder. In our example project, we have folders for models, prefabs, scenes, and scripts. Models, in turn, have inside folders for materials and textures. Prefabs are pre-built objects that you prepare for use in your game. If you select any asset, for example, a prefab, in this other window, you can see its properties and a preview of it. This window is the inspector, where properties of most elements in the game can be edited. We continue in the next video.